Oh, you don't have to do that. Ah, oh, I just thought, you know, extra hands half the time. Well, I'm almost finished folding. Um, just don't worry about it. <laughs> you call this almost finished? You should just sit down and relax. I mean, the kids are gonna be home before you know it, you know? Boy, invisible kids, laundry that folds itself, a spotless apartment. The first time I've heard of a nanny being paid to sit and look pretty, but it's uh, your money. Am I that bad? Okay, Mary, I um, have to make a confession. You're about to fire me, aren't you? No, 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 nothing like that. I just, well, I've never had anybody working for me before. And you're a little put off. A stranger in your home, doing the things that you usually do, and cleaning up after you, and making your life a lot easier. Yeah, you could say that. Are you sure your fiancé and you are ready for a nanny? Oh, yeah, we are so ready, we could scream. <laughs> are you sure? Yes, it's just gonna take a little getting used to, that's all. Let's put it to the test. You're paying, I'm here, use me. Okay. <laughs> you asked for it. Knock yourself out. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an adjustment. I'll be gentle with you. <laughs> you should really enjoy what peace and quiet you have left because before too long, my cousin Carly's coming over to help me with wedding plans and then the twins are gonna be back from the park and after all that running around and all that sun, watch out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jake McKinnon finally with two beautiful women on his arm. <laughs> you know, I, 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 are these not the two most beautiful human beings you've ever seen in your entire life? I'm not just saying that because they're mine. Of course not. These are two beautiful women. You got this fatherhood thing down. Here you go. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm uh, learning. They're teaching me little by little. I see. I see. Now, I, I've never owned one of these, let alone two of these by myself, but uh, don't they like fresh air? Sunshine? Well, you're funny. Ha, 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 ha. As a matter of fact, we went to the park this morning, and then I was going to take him to, to get some lunch, and then I'd bring him back to the park. But on the way, I decided to make a detour and introduce him to my, to my friend, Isaac. So for your information, they've had plenty of fresh air and sunshine. As a matter of fact, back in the day... I mean, I got playground running through my blood. Really? Well, I'm just looking out for my ladies. You know something? As a matter of fact, I just wanted to bring by and, and introduce both of them to my, to my good friend, Isaac. But if you're too busy you know, and we get... You just quit your... Excuse me. Ladies, would you all like something to drink? Perhaps some gin, some vodka, some... I mean, uh, apple juice. Apple juice. I was going to use a little bit on knees. I was going to use apple juice. Here we go. Here we go. Hit me. Hit me. Right on. <laughs> hey, but how long have we known each other? Probably a year, year and a half? Something like that. You've gone from bachelor with the bad attitude to now I'm a, I'm a father who's a fiance. You know, speaking of Miss Molly, what would she happen to think if she came in here and saw the three of you just bellied up to the bar like can, this? Can, can we <laughs> talk about that? Okay, sure. And whatever you want. Just sounds like you have something on your mind. I do. I do. We we have uh, known each other a while, right? Yeah. We met over a. Stop. And that time we 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 become pretty close. <clears throat> well, that you know that depends on who's asking. We're friends. <laughs> well, it's a uh, price of friendship. It's time to pay up. How? What are you doing here? I thought you had these big plans tonight. That's why we got Jennifer to babysit for Parker. Where's Jack? He called in sick. Family emergency. Oh, that Julia. Always a crisis, right? You ought to make her wear one of those flashing red ambulance lights up on her head. Now, what do you go and do that for? Jack will know. No, uh, message with that? Just tell him it's for his own good. Hey, Carly! Hey, sorry, gotta go. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 is everything all right? Oh, 
Oh, well, it's peachy. Can't you tell? And to answer your next question, yes, I gave Craig the money, okay, as requested. You did. Thank, thank you. Mm. Everybody gets exactly what they want. Lucinda! Hi. Tom, good news. Please, that's all I'm accepting today is good news. Well, I could have saved us both a lot of time. Our hands are tied. I can't believe that. I can't believe that, that he's going to get away with what he did to me and what he did to the kid. I mean, not even a slap on the wrist for raiding the trust. Well, unless you can prove that you didn't sign this loan document under your own free will. I don't believe it. I just can't believe it. Now, Tom, now, now, this loan document that I unwittingly signed, this is a loan agreement, right? So if he keeps the money and has no intention of repaying, that's robbery, isn't it? Brian's trust fund doesn't come due till the year 2003 when he will inherit the money in full. I'm trying. I I'm thinking. I'm, I'm... It's just got to be something, something that we can prosecute right now. I mean, a, 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 a glitch, an intention. He cannot be allowed to wriggle out of his responsibilities. Please, now, darling, <laughs> I want you to look for and find a legal loophole. Please. Is a time machine a legal loophole? Because if you have one of those, you'll be in luck. Great. Time machine. Sure. Bye, George. <laughs> what? Bye, George. I got it. I know what to do to make him squirm. I told you I have the money here, in cash, just as we agreed. Everything thing I don't know is where to deliver it. I have been waiting for hours. Hello? Hello? I got here as soon as I could. What's going on? I have the money. Can you talk to your contact? Well, I've called. They keep putting me off. What are they saying? They tell me to wait. Well, if they're saying to wait, what other option do you have? They know you got the cash, right? Yes. Everything is settled. Your family is safe. With these people, I'm never sure of anything. But you did beat their deadline, didn't you? My week was up at midnight. Well, I called them last night to tell them I was ready to pay. And now they're keeping you waiting? I only hope it isn't too late. People you're dealing with may be dangerous, but they're not stupid. They have to want your money more than they want to harm your family. Well, of course, but what's the delay? I don't know. Maybe they're uh, calling off the dogs of war, or maybe they're making arrangements for the drop. The most important thing is you got the goods. No, no, the most important thing is Lucy Bryant and Sierra. My life insurance is okay, right? Of course, it's everything is in order. Well, at least they're provided for. Craig, you're talking like a dead man. As soon as I'm certain I'm not Cass, I'll let you know. If you think I'm letting you leave this world without paying my bill, you are quite mistaken. You can cross that off your worry list. Is this the money in question right here? Yeah. May I? You're too good to me. Oh, my, 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 my. Don't get attached. This, but it's so beautiful. Where did you finally get this from? From Carly. We don't know. No kidding. It was a gift. She's full of surprises, that one. Yeah. There's enough there to repay my debt, but not a penny more. Which means you'll still be in debt to Bryant's trust fund. If I make it through this day alive. Well, at least that doesn't come through for a couple of years, so... <sighs> I'll 
be all right. Plenty of time to pay it back before the wolves come knocking at my door again. Look, you. Look. Look, look, look. look. This is the trust. I set up a trust with my money for my grandson. At the time, I wasn't sure, and I discussed with Craig, at what age it should mature. You know, what kind of a kid he'd be and all of that. I, well, we put in a clause. I know. <laughs> I can unilaterally change the maturity date. I'm aware of the clause. You do determine when Bryant inherits the money. Okay. Now... This is the loan agreement, Craig Montgomery loan agreement. Craig Montgomery will repay the money, da 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 da, on the date the trust comes due. But darling, there is no specific date. So what are you proposing? Well, I mean, it's my money and I set up the trust fund. I'm a woman, I can change my mind. I can change the terms. I can change the due date. Now that is interesting and it's legal. I love you! I love you! Oh, what music! Wow. Okay. Bryant is gonna be 21 in a month. Not a lot of time to come up with that kind of money. Oh, I know. Now, if Craig does somehow defy the odds, then your grandson will be a very wealthy young man. He can't. There's no way he can. I mean, there's no bank, there's no institution would lend him that kind of money. No. Okay, draw up the necessary papers. Light your bonfires. Go ahead. Hi, hey. hi. The tide has turned. We did it. Did what? We found a way to fix your father for good. bride to be oh come on in how are you have you seen jack oh jack who please i have been so busy with parker and so busy designing my fall line i can't sketch fast enough speaking of which how would you feel about designing my wedding gown oh yes yes i've yeah? been waiting for you to ask me you will of really? course i will you know i will <laughs> in fact I, I think i already have a design in mind Tell me. T yeah. Tell me about it. Well, it's a breathtaking creation that will have you bathed in beads. Oh, honey, you remembered? Of course I remembered. We've been planning our weddings forever. <laughs> planning <laughs> what our dresses would look like, what flowers we'd have, who our husbands would be, I remember? Know. Does Jake have any idea what he's in for? No, not a clue. Mary? <laughs> Sorry, I just... No, Why? it's okay. It's okay. Come on in. Who is uh, this? Another new member of your family? Yeah, you could say that. Mary, meet my cousin Carly. This is Mary, the nanny. The nanny? Pleased to meet you. Hi. Oh, get you with the nanny. I know. I just don't know what to do with her. Georgina! I beg your pardon? Yeah, that's Georgina the cat. That is Bridget's favorite thing in the world. Oh, poor Jake. You do not want to be in a three-mile radius when Bridget starts freaking out that she's missing Georgina. I told him to take her with him. He must have forgotten. Do you want me to take her down to the park? Would you do that? Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? You should call Jake on the cell phone, find out which part of the park he's in. His number's on the fridge. Good idea. Thanks. No, thank you. <sighs> Nanny. Do you know, if I, if I didn't love you guys, I'd have to hate you? <laughs> you know that, right? Well, you know, Parker needs some bonding time with his new cousin, so bring him by. Hmm. Here's to the girl who has everything. Nope. I'm missing one very essential ingredient. What? Maid of honor? Me? You have to. You want me to? You have to. Remember we, we pinky promised when we were nine years old? Come on. Molly, yes, I can't believe it. Here you go, ladies. Uh, Jungle Jim Jake. Okay. You can stay right here, okay? Look, if you're looking for a babysitter, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Now, I got enough kids running in and out of here already. You don't need a sitter. Then what do you want, then? Just come out and say it. Do you know something? I was looking for a stand-up guy to stand up for me at my wedding. You what? You heard me. You, you know what? If you're too busy, you got too many things you got to take care of, too many kids to take care of, to be my best man, I'll go find somebody else who whoa, can, whoa, okay? Oh, now I know I'm the best man in any given situation. No, I don't know that. Listen, this is deep, man. You're asking me to be your best man at your wedding? Get us in any other situation. No, no, hold on. You know, you talk, 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 talk. Shh, be quiet for a minute. Let a man think. 
You know what? I'd be honored, man. I'd be honored. Thanks. You're not just asking me because I know how to throw a wild bachelor party, are you? No, I, I expect the best, all right? Okay. Do okay. The best. That's not the only reason, though, because I know I, I throw the wild party. I expect you to do the best. You did talk with Molly first. I mean, you cleared it with her. She knows that she... Get in here. Jake, hi, it's Mary. Mary, what's going on? Bridget forgot to bring Georgina the cat along, and from what I hear, there won't be any rest without her. No kidding. The nanny. How does she look? Would you like me to bring it by the park, or are you by the duck pond or the playground? You know, you know about the about the playground. Um, do you know Mary? There, there was some business I had to take care of. Right. I'm gonna go get a vodka for myself. You wanna? It doesn't sound like you're at the park. You know, um, uh, because what happened is that I, that I had to run past this place called Java Underground. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a club. It might even call it a, a, a night a nightclub. And um, I, I know you probably never heard about it, but it was just for a little while. And uh, I'll be over in two shakes. Busted. Either your father pays back in full, or we put him where he belongs. Now, I don't think Craig is going to spend any time in jail, but we could file a civil suit. Oh, yes! We'll take whatever we yes. can get. <laughs> Are you telling me you're willing to take your own father to court? That's why we're here, right? Absolutely. And, darling, don't you worry. After this is settled, I'll, I'll set up another trust for you. All right. Hey, let's get the ball rolling, Tom. You know, I think we need to take a little time right now to discuss some strategy. Oh, um, my strategy is to move strategically. <laughs> Take it, where are you going? Take it off? Darling, let the games commence again. <laughs> if you want to meet me back here in a couple hours. I, I came by to see my friend, Isaac. No liquor past my lips. There's nobody around here dancing for dollars. I did nothing wrong. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. Come on. <laughs> <You> quit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, as your best man, keeping you on the straight and narrow is my responsibility. Besides, I've got four of the most gorgeous women that, I, that I've ever seen in my life. A wet man wouldn't run home. You're right. You're absolutely right. Jake. Hi. Mary, you didn't have to come all the way down no, here. stop. It's no problem. Uh, Mary, Isaac Jenkins, Isaac Jenkins, this is Mary, the, the nanny. This is a very good friend of mine and the owner of this, of this joint. It's very nice to meet you, very nice. You're welcome to come down here anytime you want, have a free drink. I know you want to get away from the McKinnon madness from time to time. So please well, feel free. Uh, thanks, but I'm not really the club type. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bridget, look what I brought. Uh, listen, uh, Mary, I have to run out to get back to the newspaper. Would you mind taking the kids home? Uh, we'll take the long way, by the park. <laughs> How about the swings, Thank huh? you, thank you, thank you. Oh, look, it wasn't even in my job. It would be a pleasure. Yes. Well, this, this whole mix-up about the, about the playground club, I'm going to explain that to Molly later. Okay. Well, good luck with that. What? The story, I mean. <laughs> good friend. <laughs> uh. Stop crying! Stop! I can't help it! I know, but you're making me cry! <laughs> I can't believe it, Molly. You're getting married. I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not. You're not just getting married. You have you're a groom who loves you so much, and you have a beautiful home and a ready-made family. It doesn't seem real, does it? I mean, me. I, I never thought that I had a chance at a semi-normal life with a quasi-normal guy. <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy for you. It feels like one of those bubble bath fantasies, you know, where they disappear when you open your eyes. No, please don't. Don't burst that bubble. I need to believe that fairy tales do come true. Hey, if it can happen to me... No, please don't say it. I don't think I can stand to hear it. But look at you. You're really one of the lucky ones, Molly. Lucky? I met the man of my dreams while I was in a coma. <sighs> I almost lost my daughter, and I never thought I'd get this job back. Trust me, second chances happen for everyone. Mm. Every time things are 
riding my way, something always comes along and derails them, you know, without fail. That is not true. Um, case in point, please. Okay. How about the insurance money you got from that horse? Right? I mean, just mm, bunches of money right when you're let down to your last nickel. How much anyway? How much was it? Mm, tons. And, um, it's gone. Gone? Gone where? Carly, not even you could spend that much money in one day. I gave it away. You what? What? To whom? Craig Montgomery. Oh, girlfriend. Don't, we need to talk. <laughs> don't, don't say it. No, you just gave, what, like millions of dollars to someone you can't stand? Come on. Out with it. The whole story. The real story. Got anything on those break-ins over on 12th Street yet? Yeah. Hell, don't you think it's time you drop the case on Craig? Oh, do you remember the good old days when you used to keep your nose out of my business and followed orders at least once in a while? You know, you only pull rank when you know you're wrong. Come on, what's it gonna take for you to give up on this? What's it gonna take to stop Barbara from marrying a man who only wants her for her money? So if the wedding were off, you'd drop the case? You talk to your brother, do you know something? I'm just saying, you never know, you know? Things could turn around. You do know something. All I know is that when people make a snap decision the way Craig and Barbara did, they can just as easily snap right out of it. Margo, don't leave me hanging. If there's even a thread of hope that Barbara can be safe, you've got to tell me. Hi, Hal. Hey, Lucy. That's my beautiful baby. Well, yeah, well, maybe it is totally lame having a bodyguard tagging you around all day, but uh, I don't think you'd complain if he was cute. You'll miss him when he's gone. S soon enough. Uh, anything uh, exciting going on down there? Oh, good. Good. I, and, and how's your mom? She, is she good? Oh, oh. Uh, Baby, there's, there's somebody at the door. I gotta go. I love you, too. I love you, too, baby. Don't forget that. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Cinda, this is not a good time. Oh, but it is. It's as good a time as any. No, it is not, Lucinda. If you don't leave, I have to throw you out. Oh, I'd like to see you try. What do you want, Lucinda? Darling, where shall we begin? Oh, excuse me. What? Yes. Yes, hello. 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 You always were such a man of Hello? courtesy. The age of chivalry is not dead. I can hear you. It... This is Craig Montgomery. Go to the old mill on Briar Road. Bring the money. I'll be there. Thank you. Hello? Where were we? I have business, Lucinda. You're going to oh, have to no. redirect your grants. You're very, very, very busy. I just was being kind. I just wanted to let you know, because I'm so generous, that I'm going to amend a clause in Bryant's trust fund document. Good for you. And, oh, you don't want to know which clause it is? Send me a memo. I am going to change the due date. Why? It comes in when he's 23. No, but he needs the money now. And what the heck? What the heck? It's going to be two months after his 21st birthday, all right? And that doesn't pose any problem for you at all. His birthday's next month, Lucinda. 90 days. I'm being very fair, because we're family. And if you cannot, or if you will not repay the money, you're going down. I hope I'm not keeping you from something. What friends do you buy? The kids. Everybody's OK, I Everyone's hope. fine. I mean, they're healthy and they're safe, if that's what you mean. You know, Hal, no matter what's going on between us, we've always got to put their happiness first. That's always been my game plan. I just don't want to see them hurt 
anymore. And I know you may not believe this, but I just don't want to make things any worse than they already are. You hear about Jennifer? I'm sure she's given you a blow by blow. I got the gist of it. She's still planning on moving out? She was pretty hot under the collar, but I reasoned with her a little bit, got her to think twice about leaving home and you. Thank you. I don't know what I'd do if I lost my little girl. I know. We had a terrible fight, you know. It's never been like that, and I think it scared both of us. Well, with so many things changing so quickly, Barbara, it's bound to take a little bit of time to adjust. You know? I'm sure you're right. She's very worried about you. Well, she doesn't have to be. And neither do you. Nobody has to worry about Craig and me anymore. Now, why does everybody keep saying that today, Barbara? What is going on? Anything I should know about? I think I'm going to let you get back to work. Barbara! What's going on? What's wrong? The engagement's up. You just signed over a fortune to Craig Montgomery? <sighs> Don't look at me like that. It's more complicated than you think. Oh, well then. Complicated. I'm so glad it's complicated. That makes me feel better. Carly, the guy just conned you out of your own no, money. No, no, he did not con me. It's not my money, technically. Technically. Technically, it's enough money for you to buy whatever you want for the rest of your life. And you can't buy everything. Oh, no, no, no. There is something very wrong with this picture. This is not you at all, but it is totally Craig Montgomery to try to rip off an innocent person. No, I I am under no illusions about Craig Montgomery. Just needs the money more than I do. Oh, yeah, Mr. Uh, high fashion suits, cashmere coats. Yeah, Big Daddy's my favorite charity. <laughs> He's not as bad as you think. Hmm. What? Hmm. What is that supposed to mean? That it's the most loaded hmm I've ever heard. Well, I'm just saying. Now that Jackie's out of your life. Oh, forget it. Are you sure? Look, there is nothing going on between Craig and me. Nothing. Zippo, zilch, nada. You're sure? All that time when the two of you were alone in that cushy suite? Nothing? Nothing. Nothing happened. The only feelings that Craig and I have for each other are the bad kind. Oh, come on. You cannot... Con a cuz, cuz. I want to hear the real story. Oh, 90 days. It doesn't seem as long as it used to. Do you want to take donations? Or are you just going to stick to the tried and old methods of lying and cheating if and stealing? If I default on the loan, your grandson will not see a penny of his money. But, darling, the world will see you for what you are. A charlatan who steals from his own kid. And that's what's important? It's too bad that you care more passionately about yourself than your kids and your... Don't what? tell me I don't love my kids. Yeah, you got a funny way to... What are you doing? Come what, on. we're going to the park now? You're going to steal candy from a baby? Goodbye, now, Lucinda. Stop it. Hey. You're trembling. Oh, my cool cucumber. Where did you say it was that you're going? If you try to follow me or interfere with me tonight, I will eviscerate you. You Montgomery, you're not getting married? What happened? Did he change his mind? It Did you change your mind? It doesn't really matter. Barbara, if he did anything to hurt you... No, 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 it was nothing like that. We just had a disagreement. Disagreement? About what? The wedding? You wanted lilies, he wanted cacti. Did he find out you eat cookies in bed? No, that secret is still safe. And what was it? When I went to see Paul, he suggested that I ask Craig to sign a prenup. Good for Paul. I thought that maybe if the kids could see that our relationship was not based on money, they might accept us. Oh. And Craig refused. You had a fight. He broke it off. 
Well, can you blame him? I was joining the chorus of accusers. Sign this, or you're as guilty as they say you are. Well, I probably don't have the right to ask you anything, but please, please do this one thing for me. Stick to your guns on this, because if he loves you, he will sign. I insulted the man. It's an insult because you have children that need to be provided for, to be protected, that you have a business that you've poured your sweat and your blood into? No. If he loves you, he will sign. Me? I do it in a heartbeat. What wouldn't I do for you? <laughs> I think I better go. You have to. Barbara, you're doing the right thing. Stick to your guns on this. out of your mind me and Craig Montgomery mm-hmm stranger things have happened any partnership between me and Craig Montgomery would end up either in court or in the morgue oh she protests and denies any attraction to that tall drink of water with the uh, high price suits impeccable taste bedroom eyes and that knowing sexy laugh but hey I'm not blind he's hot well yeah, I, I guess. For a criminal with an empty wallet where his heart is supposed to be. He can't be all that bad. It, who cares? He's out of my life, out of my hair. He is somebody else's problem altogether. It's, it's time for me to be like a shark. You know, moving forward, never back. Well, you know, Craig could be like a shark, too, moving forward, because he doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that stays down for long. And so when he's back up again, Carly Tenney, since when do you pass up a big, sexy bank account? Since Jack. Come on. Just, you know, another guy might put a smile back on that pretty face. No. No, I'm, I'm holding out for one of the good guys. I will get over Jack one of these years <laughs> and I will accept no substitutes and Craig is not gonna help anything he's my favorite cousin growing up I'm gonna do something different and maybe if I just start making different choices the universe will reward me with something other than lonely nights <laughs> honey I'm home oh, you see that's that's what I want and you will have that mm. Mm. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. aren't you um, forgetting something? <laughs> like two blondes about Oh, uh, I had some, some work to take care of at the office, so Nanny Mary took over for a while. <laughs> oh, hey, Carly. Hi. Hi. So how was the park? It, 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 was, it was great. It was great. It's funny thing about the park, though. Uh, the Bridget and uh, Michelle and I, we never actually... Hey, and look who's here. We were just talking about the park. Did you guys have a good time at the park? Actually, what I was, what I was trying to say... Well, it wasn't your typical day at the park. It was really crowded with kids and oh, runners and skaters. But we had a great time, and didn't we? And with all that fresh air and running around, you guys are going to be ready for a big nap, aren't you? <laughs> Mary... You are a godsend. Just doing my job. Okay. 
Count it yourself. It's all there, every dollar. About covering up for me regarding the Java. Uh, just change the direction of the conversation, that's all. Well, that's just it. You don't, you don't have to. No big deal. You were talking to your friend way before the club even opened. Now, if I'd come in and the girls were tossing back martinis <laughs> and playing blackjack in a smoke-filled room, well, then we'd have to talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Molly anyway. I mean, I always do. Well... I'm sorry if I overstepped or interfered. No, that's all right. I, I, I appreciate the, uh, the impulse. <laughs> oh, I think this one's perfect. I don't I'll know. call you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll start the hardcore planning. Okay. okay. The, hard, the, hard, the hardcore? Oh, yes. We have been planning this wedding since we were little kids. You're going to love it, Jake. And you, you are going to have the biggest, baddest bachelorette party this side of the Mississippi. Bachelor? Who? who what? She's kidding. Aren't you? <laughs> Bye, Mary. It's a pleasure meeting you. No, no, you're not gonna have one of those. This is like my last night of freedom bashes or anything, right? All right, fine, but it works both ways, Buster. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're gonna call me if anything happens with Craig? No, nothing is going to happen with Craig. He has his money, I have my freedom, and I couldn't care less about the man. Hi. You saw Dad? I said I did, and I did. And? I've never seen him quite like this before. He was sort of quaking in his boots. Not, not that I would have missed it for a moment. He's running scared, huh? He's running, running somewhere. Yeah. Darling, I did that for you, you know, for you. I was, I want to be fair. I wanted him to know the score. But don't worry. Your trust comes due in 90 days. So I think in 90 days, you and I will be in court and we will get a modicum of justice. Lucinda. And I know it's not nice to wish to dance on somebody's grave, so I won't do it. He deserves it. He does. He could still get that money together in time. Yeah? Craig knows how to mint it? No. No. He's marrying it. What? Dad's getting married again? What female is foolish enough to hook herself up with that icy reptile? Jennifer's mom. I'm sorry, darling. I really... I, I saw them, actually, at the Lakeview, having a very earnest chat. Your father's something, isn't he? He doesn't... He doesn't waste a minute. No, not when it comes to women or money. There's no way, I think, that he can come up with the money in three months. Are we talking about the same guy here, Lucinda? Mm -hmm. Don't put anything past Craig. I don't. That is why I'm working on a little insurance. Dear, what kind of insurance? I just want to make sure that he learns his lesson, once and for all. Though your plans are undoubtedly borderline immoral, please tell me that they are in no way, shape, or form illegal. I promise you no more late-night visits by the Oakdale PD. Phew. Okay. <laughs> well, darling, anything that keeps your father in line has, has my approval, okay? For the family's sake. Uh, uh, hey, if we can make him suffer. <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> the money's all there. The loan plus interest. I counted it myself. Not enough. I just told you. And I just told you. It isn't enough. Aren't you forgetting something, Montgomery? There must be some misunderstanding. Any misunderstanding is yours. This, this is the amount we agreed upon. This is the full amount. Chunba Haido! You are paid. I have done everything you have asked. You forgot about the late fee. We can work something. All new Survivor is back CBS Thursday. Passing the 
ultimate test could land someone in paradise. Who will it be? And who will get voted off? All new Survivor. Then, when rain washes away evidence... Our killer got lucky tonight. These investigators will face their greatest challenge. All new CSI, CBS Thursday after Survivor.